Hi guys, Paul here at Radio Shop Pickups in South Wales and in this video I'm going to show you the sounds that you can get from our ID Evolution Strap Pickup Set. Later in the video I'm actually going to talk in a bit more depth as well about how this pickup set is, is quite different to any other set out there. Uh, a bold claim I know but there's, I'm not really aware of anybody who's doing what we've done here with this set. I'll talk very briefly now and then I'll just give you some sounds that you can listen to and digest and then we'll come back in a bit more depth. The thinking behind the set is humbucker output from Strat single coils and we do this via these enlarged magnets, only subtly enlarged. We've just enlarged the magnets so you've got a little bit more magnetism which means we can boost the amount of copper that we put on the coil and get a humbucker output but with no tone darkening. A lot of pickups uh, makers out there they just basically just slap on extra wire to get your sort of humbucker output but you get a lot of tone darkening so this retains the strattiness but gives you that humbucker output. The idea is that you go from this a strat which sounds stratty to a les paul with no volume changes on stage. So I'll talk a bit more in depth later on but just to give you the heads up on what I'm using in the video, I'm using a Shure SM57 in front of a Vice amp, which is a hand-wired amp, it's 10 watts, no reverb on it, so this is just dry, okay? And I'm also using the first time, usually we do all clean, but we've had a lot of requests really for some overdriven tones, so I'm using this Boss Turbo Overdrive OD2R, and we'll go between clean and overdriven throughout the video. So. I'll let you have a little listen and I'll come back to you. So the ID Evolution Strat set, as I said before, it is, um, it's got slightly enlarged magnets. We push the diameter, very geeky bit of information for you now, but we push the diameter of the magnets from being five millimeter diameter to 5.25 millimeter. And that gives a subtle effect. We wanted to kind of retain the look of a Strat set and not have like massive magnets, but we wanted to just have subtly larger. And to be honest, you probably, if you look at the Strat here, which is a Guild SC3 from the early 90s, USA one. If you look at them here, you know, you wouldn't actually do a double take and think, hang on, that's got massive magnets. They're just subtly enlarged. And by doing that, it meant that we could actually get more copper wire on without darkening the tone. There's basically a relationship between how much copper and how much magnetism you've got. And the best example I like to give for this is if you think of like a Gibson Path and you think of a Gretsch Filtertron. Now the Gibson Path has quite a small magnet and has lots of copper wire. So I'm talking in the simple terms here. And then the Gretsch one has a bigger magnet and less copper wire. And 
The result of that is you actually get a brighter tone. Okay, so there's a relationship between how much copper wire and how much magnetism. So if you have very little magnetism and lots of copper wire, then you'll have a dark tone. Conversely, if you have lots of magnetism and very little copper wire, you'll have a brighter tone. So you can creep these things and there's, you play them off against each other as a pickup maker. So with the Gretsch Filtertron, we, they've increased the amount of magnetism and decreased the copper. You're going to get a far treblier tone. Okay. Now, the upshot of this, again, I did say we'd get geeky. When you make a Strat pickup, let's say you make an Alnico 5 Strat pickup, okay, and let's say you put 8,000 wines on there. That would be like a standard Strat sound, okay? And you use five millimeter diameter magnets, okay? Now, if you were to put 8,800 wines on there, then you would have a darker sound. If you were to put 7,200 on there, then you would have a brighter sound. So 10% over, darker, 10% under, brighter, and lots of places in between. The classic response for a pickup maker to make a hot pickup, because there is a lot of people, you know, there are a lot of people who want hot pickups, okay? And the classic response there is to just slap on extra wines. And you will get more output, you get more volume, but of course the tone darkens. Now that might be a desirable effect for many, that they want a darker tone. That's fine. We wanted to do something slightly different. And because we know that the relationship between the magnetism and the copper wire is there, we wanted to play these a little bit. So we enlarged the pole pieces on the ID Evolution Strat set from um, 5mm to 5.25. It's not a massive jump, but it's enough for it to increase enough that we could then raise the amount of copper wire used and get a humbucker classic humbucker output. When I say classic or vintage, I mean around about 7.8 on the bridge and around about 7.2, 7.3 on the neck, okay? Anything beyond that is not kind of vintage or classic humbucker output, it's kind of modern, okay? So we knew if we put a little bit more magnetism into this set with the slightly bigger magnets, we could actually get more output without the tone darkening. So. What this doesn't do, what the ID Evolution Strat set doesn't do, is offer a humbucker, humbucker output that's really dark. What it offers is a humbucker output that is still stratty and still has the clarity of the Strat pickup set. So we think we've done something quite unique here. And as I said earlier on, the idea is that you can go from you know, if you're playing live and you're using a Les Paul and just like a sort of vintage output Strat, then you'll be playing one song on the Les Paul and then you go to the Strat. Now, you've got to sort of make some volume changes here, whether you do it via a pedal or you do it via go into the amp. It's, it's a bit of a pain to go from one drastically different output guitar to another on stage. So, this kind of gets over that problem. You can go between them on stage with no need to change the volume on your, your settings. Okay, so that is a bit of a problem solver. The other thing that it does is it offers the kind of the Strat clarity and the classic Strat sound, but because it's a slightly higher output, 7.8 in the bridge and then 7.2 on these two, it'll actually push your amp earlier, okay? So a valve amp will be pushed into overdrive much earlier with the ID Evolution Strat set. Now, this is Mark II of the ID Evo Strat set. The first Mark, which came out about a year and a half ago, you may have already seen a video on that, was this one, which I've just taken out of the, the Guild, Guild, GNL SC3. Okay, I got Guild on the brain, I'm working on a Guild at the moment. Um, it's plain enamel wire, and what we did last year, um, we, we love this very early version of the set, but we did, we have the, our thing which call, we call the workshop special run. We do sort of one-off runs of three, four pickups, okay, just specials basically. And we thought, all right, what we'll do this month is actually, instead of using the plain enamel wire, we'll use the black plain enamel. And we put it in, we called it the ID Evolution Woodstock series because it, the black plain enamel is kind of late 60s or early 70s wire. And we did three of them and we thought, oh, we love that. That sounds 
Amazing, and we, we actually sli just slight, ever so slightly preferred it to the original ID Evolution Strat set. So we thought, hang on, this is so good, we'll change it. And this is Mark II. So Mark I has come out of the guitar, and Mark II has gone in. And I think you'll agree, this it sounds fantastic. It's very, very usable on stage, you know, if you're in a multi guitar setup. If you're not in a multi-guitar setup, I think it makes a lot of sense anyway, because as I said, it's, it's got that strattiness, but it's just that little bit more output. So if you love pushing a valve amp, this will do it just a little bit earlier. But yeah, it's a really different set from us, and I've talked enough. Let's, let's hear it a bit more. Thanks for watching, guys.